What's up guys, it is OG Tech here. And in today's video, we are going to be covering a very important setting that can drastically improve the performance of your system. We will explore what Win32 priority separation is, how it works, and how you can configure it to optimize the performance of your system. It is a setting in the Windows operating system that determines how the operating system assigns CPU time to different types of processes. It allows you to specify the strategy for optimizing the processor's usage time in the foreground as well as the background. In other words, Win32 priority separation gives each operating service a priority value and give the most RAM to tasks with high priority. Let's say that when priority separation is set to foreground, the operating system gives higher priority to foreground processes, such as your currently active application, than to background processes. So that means that the CPU will spend more time in foreground processes, which can improve the perceived responsiveness of the system. Therefore, this priority separation can be configured through the Windows registry. So let's get into the video. First, you need to download this pack from the link given below in the description. After you download it, extract the RAR file using 7-zip or WinRAR. And open it. In here, you can see multiple files like long, short, variable, fixed, medium, and high. Now, I will explain to you what are these files means. I have explained everything in this document in details, but I will go through it in this video as well. So, you can see there is long and short in these four files. That equals to the quantum size. Quantum size basically means the amount of time a thread is allowed to run on a processor before being interrupted. Next variables and fixed. So, variables and fixed equal to quantum variation. That means how long each process gets to use the CPU before the operating system switches to another process. The last one is no, medium, and high. That equals to the foreground boot type. Foreground boot type refers to a type of boot process in Windows that prioritizes the user interface and responsiveness of the system. For example, if you apply a high foreground value, your current application or game will run at high priority. Now we'll see how to check those quantum sizes and the boot types. So click one of these for folders. And click on one of these registry entries, right click, and click edit. In here, I have mentioned this values quantum size, variation, and foreground boot type. In addition, I have placed benchmarks for each of these values. But you need to keep this in mind. These benchmarks will be totally different for every computer system. You need to test every single value on your computer. So let's take a look at how do we test these values. First of all, you need to download this FPS capturing tool. I will also leave the link in the description. Inside of this software, you can see so many options like analysis, overlay, and comparison. If you like, you can add extra overlay items like latency, maximum FPS, and CPU heat. But what we need to do is capture our game, so normally the capturing shortcut key is F and plus F12. To check your shortcut key, go to the capture section, and in the middle, you can see your shortcut key. Once you know the shortcut key, minimize the cap frame X and boot into one of your games. After you loaded it into your game, minimize it. So I have already minimized my game and go to our Win32 pack. And open the first folder, and double click on the 14 hex registry to apply it. Once you've done that, open the game. Now you need to press that shortcut key, and you'll hear a voice say, Capture started. When you hear that voice, start playing your game, at least for 30 seconds. Once you're done playing, Click that shortcut key to stop capturing our game. And open Cap Frame X, and we can see our game record that we just captured. Now, when you go to the analysis section, we can check every statistic from that test we did. Click on these three dots, and you can check whatever you like in that test. Now, to check other values. Go to my pack and double click on any other values you want to test next. Also. You don't actually need to restart your PC or the game, you can keep on testing like this. Next up, how do we compare these values with each other? Every time you capture a value, 
make sure to type the number just like this. Once you've done that, just double click on it, and it will automatically add to your chart. By clicking on these three dots, you can change what metrics you want. Furthermore, in my pack there is a folder called Other Values. Definitely test these values, because for me, the best hex value for Valorant is 21, so make sure you test these just like we did earlier. So that's it for today's video guys. If you do have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section. See you guys in the next video.